uh, we'll be discussing how to use pick collage uh, in today's webinar. And a brief overview of what's going to be in this presentation. What is pick collage, where to download the app, how to make an account on the app, how to use this app, VIP subscription, and alternatives. So what is pick collage? Pic Collage is a free app that you can use to add multiple photos together to make fun collage edits. Some things you can do include adding drawings, stickers, and more to make it uniquely yours and customize it however you like. Downloading the app. The app is available on both the App Store for Android and, I mean, sorry, App Store for iOS and the Google Play Store for Android, and it is a free application so you don't have to pay to download it. Getting started. You do not need an account to use Pic Collage, as you can simply just open the app and start creating. However, if you'd like to create an account, here is how. Open the app, and at the top left, you will click on the two lines. So in this photo, you can see there are two lines in the circle. You will click on that option. Once you do, it will bring you to the main menu, and once you're in the main menu, click on the Pick Collage Community option, which looks like this. So toggle the switch on social net, uh, network and press login. So you need to switch this on and then you need to hit login. Once you do, it will take you to this page and it will ask you for your email, your password and username. You can log in with your email, Apple ID or your Facebook ID. Pick Collage will then send you an email to confirm your email address. All you have to do is click on the confirm email option. After that, you can go, you can just go back to the app and click done, and you're all set to start creating. How to make a collage. To make a collage, tap on the teal, that is the plus sign on the bottom of the screen. You can choose from the variety of templates and grids with the pre-made designs that this app provides, or you can start from scratch with freestyle. Adding backgrounds. So you tap the icon with patterns labeled backgrounds. So as you can see in this top photo here, it has these patterns in the photo and it has backgrounds written on it. Uh, so once you click on that option, you have the option to choose from different colors and patterns or a photo of your own. Then you can tap the check mark, which is down here. Once you have chosen all the photos or the colors you want to from these two tabs, you can click on this check mark here to save. Adding photos. Click the third icon on the bottom of the screen labeled photos to add photos. After allowing access to your photos, click add photos. So once you click on that, it will ask for permission to access the photos on your device. So you need to hit allow before you can add photos. This will open your gallery where you can select the number of photos you would like to add and then press the con uh, confirm check mark to confirm your actions. Adding stickers. So if you want to add stickers, you need to choose this stickers option, which is highlighted here. It's beside the photos option. And there you can choose from a different variety of stickers. As you can see in this photo here, there are many options. Like there's this heart here, a flower and stuff like that. Adding text. So to add text, you click on this AA text option that's beside the stickers option. And there the, you will find different fonts, uh, different text colors, and different banner colors. So uh, it's a very customizable how you want it. And you can choose uh, the options you want to your liking before you add any text. Saving your edits. Once you are done editing your collage, click Done. You can save it to your phone or even post it directly on your social media. So once you click done, you will see this screen. Uh, this photo will show whatever collage you have. And uh, you can either save it to library, which will add it to your phone, or you could directly post it onto social media applications like Instagram by clicking on this Instagram option right here. 
how to share your edits on social media. After clicking done, it will open a save or share page uh, like this one I just talked about. And uh, you can either choose to print it too. So there is a printing option too. Uh, you could email it or you could choose one of these social media applications here. Or if you don't see the application you wanna share it on, you can click on the more option, which is on the bottom right of the screen. And from there, you can choose even more applications if you have any on your device. Uh, become a VIP member. Uh, although the main version of Pic Collage app is free, you have the option of becoming a VIP member. This will give you access to all the templates, stickers, fonts, and other additional features. So you can pay $4.99 every month, or you can pay $35.99 every year. To, for the VIP subscription. So alternative apps. So uh, Pixel R and PixArt are two other alternative applications. Uh, so Pixel R offers free features with in-app purchases. So it's sort of like uh, Pic Collage. Uh, you don't need an account for this application either. Uh, you can create photo collages with teams and you can easily edit photos with a variety of effects and overlays. PixArt. PixArt also is a, uh, has free features with in-app purchases. You don't need an account for this one either. You can create and edit uh, collages with many popular effects, and you can add and create your own stickers. So now we're gonna go into the live demo. Uh, this is a demo for Android users, uh, but it is quite similar to iOS users too. So uh, you go to the Google Play Store, and once you go there, you search uh, Pic Collage. And once you do, it should bring you to this page. So your phone screen is probably not going to look this big, so I'll just switch it to this. And yeah, so it should look somewhat like this. And uh, right now it says open for me because I already have it downloaded. You just need to hit the download button. And once you do, and once it's installed, you can open the application. So this is what the application would look like in the beginning. Uh, if you wanna create an account, you can hit the two bars on the top and hit the login option here. So once you hit the login option, it brings you to the same page you saw uh, in the presentation. You can either continue with Facebook or you can sign up with email if you don't already have an account. And if you already have an account, you can hit the login option down here. So uh, this is the main page to create, start a new collage. You hit, need to hit this add option on the bottom of the screen. So once I click on this, it will ask me to add photos. Uh, so I can either choose my gallery, I can uh, choose Facebook, or I could choose Google Photos. If I want to use Facebook or Google Photos, I need to connect my account to the application, which I have not done in this case. If you don't want to use any one of these three, you can hit the skip option on the top. So uh, once you uh, hit the skip option, you come to this template page. So this is the editing page. Here you have a few options uh, like this one here. This There is another add option at the bottom. And you can uh, either go back to the previous page by hitting the photos option. So if you hit that, it just takes you back to the previous page, which I just skipped. Or you could choose an image from the web. So uh, this is what I'll be using right now to demo. And there are already some popular searches option here. So these are some famous searches people have done. So I'll choose, um, I'll choose food because I'm hungry. and. Oh, that looks nice. Uh, I'll take that, that and that. So I've chosen three images here. And uh, when you choose an image, it's hard to see here, but it sort of turns blue. So I'll just uh, select this one here and you can see it'll turn blue-ish like that. So uh, once you're done selecting images, uh, you can hit this check mark here. It shows three beside the check mark to show that I have three images selected. And I'm gonna hit that now and uh, there we go. I have three random images uh, floating on my screen right now. Uh, but if I want to arrange them properly, I could either hold my thumb down uh, and drag them around like this. 
or I could go to this option, well, which it shows like three tiles, sort of looks like a laptop's trackpad. So on the bottom left of the screen, uh, once I hit this option, it lets me choose the layout uh, for a collage. So right now, this is on the default layout. I could choose a layout that puts my photos one on top of the other, like this one here. So I'm gonna click on that one and it automatically puts the photos in order for me. Uh, I can uh, make the photos curve around the corners. So if I drag this forward, it just curves the images. Or I could use this to make the images smaller. And image size can also be changed from this uh, tab. So there are different image sizes here, uh, like wallpaper or uh, four four by six and stuff like that. So I don't want to pick any one of these. So I'll just exit for now. And going back to this, I can also add backgrounds to the image, uh, to the collage. So I have three images here and behind that, you can see some of this white area. So I can change that from here. So say I want it to be black. I click on this black color here and it changes the background to black. And uh, I could also add different patterns uh, in the background. So uh, for that, I go to the second option in here. Uh, the other options you see here have this red lock on top, which shows that those are locked options and you need the VIP subscription to unlock them. So if I click on one of these locked ones, it uh, redirects me to this page and it, uh, it's asking me to pay for this, uh, pay if I want to download this. So. I don't want to do that right now. Uh, I'll just go to the patterns thing and say I want to add uh, lines in the background. So I can choose this one here uh, and it changes the background again. I can remove this image. And if I want to remove an image, I need to hold my finger down on it so I can drag it around and there will be a dustbin that appears on the top. So uh, you can probably see it. I'm hovering the image right below the dustbin. And if I want to delete an image, I just drag it up to that and drop it there. And okay, that deleted it now. Uh, I don't know why I didn't do it the first time, but okay, now that the image is gone, you can probably see the background easily. So I can change those to a different type of pattern, maybe that sort of looks like a tablecloth. And uh, so, yeah, that's some things I can do from the backgrounds and grids uh, layout tab. And now, if I want to add text, I go back to this plus button uh, on the bottom and I choose the text option here. And under this, it, it's asking me to type something right now. I can choose, I can go to this T over here, which uh, allows me to change the font type and I can choose one of my liking. So right now it's on uh, Roboto and I can take maybe, I don't see the one I usually use. Uh, but yeah, you know what, let's just choose something randomly like this. And uh, from here, I can change the font color. Uh, here, I can change the font background. And the three dots here, which is sort of like a menu, allows me to add outline to the text. And it also allows me to align the text. So right now, it's by default, it's on center alignment. Uh, so I'll just leave it on that. And I'll go back to the keyboard thing to type something. So, hi, I am Ude. Yeah, so it adds the text in the font I chose. And if I hold my finger down on it again, I can drag it around. So I can drag it and move it. And if I just click on it once, it uh, just shows me this arrow option here on the top right of the text box. And I can use this to adjust the size. So if I drag it outwards, it makes it bigger. If I drag it inside, it makes it smaller. So, and I can also use it to rotate it. So uh, these are just some of the basic things you can do with this. I can change the font maybe. So if I go to this and I choose impact, so it changes the font to impact. I can change font color to maybe blue. Oh, wow, that's not noticeable. I'll change it to white. Okay, yeah. I can change the font color to white and I can change the background to maybe black. So it changes the background of the text box to black. And uh, there is another white bar here, which is kind of hard to see in the background behind this. So I'm gonna just quickly change that to 
something that's easier to see. Okay. So now that I have this text box, um, well, that is not much better. So you can see this text box that has my name in it. Uh, and once I click on this again, it shows me those options. And there's this white box here that allows me to change the size of this box. So I can make it smaller and keep making it smaller if I want it uh, like that. You can make it longer and stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to go back to the add option and show you uh, some more features. So here's the stickers option and here I can choose any sticker to add. So there's a starter pack that's free and there are some more free packs here, but there are also a bunch of paid packs that are like $4 or, or $3. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to maybe add a text box. I can add that maybe around this. Maybe I can change this. Uh, some other feature is if I double click on an object, I can duplicate it uh, or I could remove it. So instead, of, if you don't want to drag the object around, uh, if you don't want to drag it to the dustbin to remove it, uh, you can just uh, double click on it and it'll give you the remove option or the duplicate options. And if I duplicate it, now I have two of those. So that's something you can do. I'm just going to delete these now. And under the add option, there is also a doodle option. So uh, I can use a pen with any color I want. So there are a bunch of colors here. So it defaults on black. So I'll just use that. And I can just hold my finger down and draw stuff. And if I want to raise it, there's this razor option here on the bottom. Yeah, so I can just use that to raise this uh, stuff off the screen. And there's also uh, undo and redo options right on top. Uh, so uh, say if you don't want to go about erasing this stuff, I can just undo what I did because erasing takes too long. So yeah, I just used undo and removed everything. So once you're done with this, I'm just, you can hit the done option on the bottom right of the screen. So I hit done and there I go, my collage is ready. And uh, so there's the same photo, I can save it to gallery or I could share it to some social media application like Instagram, for example. Uh, I could remove the watermark and ads. So uh, it's a bit hard to see, but on the bottom of this collage, it's, it has a watermark that says pick collage. But I don't think that's removable unless you pay for the VIP subscription. So uh, yeah, if I want to remove that, it's asking me to pay. So I'm not going to do that. And yeah, so you can just save it to gallery. You can this is an advertisement i do not want that and it's saved to gallery so this is this will go to your devices gallery once you hit that option or you could save it you could print it you can send it through email and stuff like that and yeah i think i think that's about it for the live demo